that's what finally broke me. Like the straw that broke my back was ragged and dirty. I couldn't, I couldn't do it without falling off. Every time I do that, you just up. pull just enough. Yeah. Good. How, long, how long you had this one? I don't. I don't know. I've had this guitar for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like you've always had that Delphi, and then it's, yeah. at some point you've always had this one. Well, and I still take the Delphi to show. Sometimes, you know, if it's a show where I feel like I don't want to sit and tune in front of people that much. I'll bring the Delphi and leave one guitar in G and one guitar in D. For a minute there, I kind of, I kind of had like a dozen guitars, yeah. and that was fun. Yeah. And then, and then COVID, uh, and that wasn't fun. That wasn't fun. So the guitars all had to go away, and and uh, a third of my record collection had to go away. Because <laughs> that's all I have that's worth money. I mean, those are my bank accounts, you know. This, this this has become my favorite. It's a tricone in, in a single cone body, which you have to kind of experience because it sounds totally different than a single cone resonator guitar or a standard tri plate. It's made out of uh, stainless, which is different. I mean, I, I love the way they come. You know, I also have never, never been able to not mess with stuff, so, you know, my National that I toured with extensively before I got this guitar, I took that apart so much. Yeah. And, you know, just, just to see what it was in. I, uh, when I was a kid, I, could, I took all my toys apart because I couldn't stand not knowing what was inside of them, what happens when you take the screws out, you know. Probably frustrating for, for a luthier like Matt, to deal with a person that constantly takes instruments apart, puts them back together. Again. The side of there is to prevent this shit from happening. <laughs> <laughs> This guitar actually works really well in standard tuning. You know, it's fast, it's really easy to fret. You know, the, 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 the neck is narrow, but the, um, the, way that it's, the way that it's carved, so it's not like a normal like C shape, it's like offset slightly. Um, so my hand fits it really well. I sit down and just it just yeah. plays, you know. So anyway, when I got it, when Matt sent it to me, I immediately fell in love with it and started playing it all the time. And then, of course, started messing with it. I, I put uh, Waverly's from a, another guitar. Ted Vig is a, is a master pickup winder and wound this kind of low output mini humbucker for it. And then I replaced the tailpiece with a, with one from an old 50s K just to, to give me a little more string behind the saddle because I, I like that resonance a little bit. The tailpieces that they come with are a little longer and you get less of that, that, that mm. sound. And totally. that's just a that's a personal thing. Most shows, though, it's just this one. Um, you know, with these with these fancy tuners on it, I can tune it quick yeah. in front of people, uh, and and play through standard G D some minor variations if I want to. If it's a longer show, I can go to C. Yeah. But this is kind of a this is kind of the the you know, the, the, the jack of all trades as far as, I don't. It does it all. It does it all. Yeah. But this guitar, you know, can never leave me and my Delphi can never leave. Yeah. And you know, I've got, uh, you know, uh, my Fraulini and my old guild that are with me forever, so. So those are the guitars that are in my, in my world right now, except for that fancy electric guitar that I just got. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, man. Take that. Take that, man. <laughs> Listen. <laughs>